in San Bernardino County. We were the first to show you the video in which deputies appear to hit the man in the, the head multiple times as he's handcuffed. Fox 11 Susan here soon is live in Hesperia with new details about what happened before and after that arrest. Susan? Yeah, we were able to see some of the colleagues who came to this locked tattoo shop. They went in and came out. They didn't have a lot to say to me, but they're saying a lot on social media about this rough arrest that we showed you last night and yesterday. And also, we talked with the family members who said they've now lawyered up, don't want to say anything until they are with their attorney. Now, sheriff's deputies say they arrested Chris Alonzo for armed robbery, that he's a known felon and gang member. Take another look at the arrest. One man and what appears to be four San Bernardino County deputies. The man on the ground is 36-year-old Christian Cardenas Alonzo. One deputy punches and knees Alonzo multiple times. This video was posted to social media. On another Instagram account, a screenshot that appears to show a bloodied and disfigured Alonzo on the ground. We've blurred the image due to the graphic content. Alonzo is accused of committing armed robbery not far from his tattoo shop. Since his arrest, the shop has been closed, but these people came late Thursday and went inside briefly, but mostly refused to answer our questions. Yeah, it was, it was the owner of the shop, it was the justice, you know, but like I said, not long after Alonzo's arrest, police came to his shop. A man who goes by the nickname Loser took this video of the police action across the street from another tattoo shop. They were already swarming the building. They had it, you know, fully surrounded and um, guns drawn. It was enough to scare the customers at Ararat Market next to Khalifa Style Tattoo. Oh, children's customers here, you see the police officer in the Sick crying, you know, kids, mm -hmm. sick crying. Just in case I close the door, that's it. Oh, nobody come here, that's mm -hmm. it. Back to the arrest, San Bernardino County Sheriff released a statement that reads in part that the department is aware of the use of force and there is an investigation. Well, Fox 11 requested an interview with Sheriff Shannon Dykus. We were told that he's out of town today and tomorrow. Now, that's in sharp contrast to how easily he answered a lot of our questions two weeks ago after another use of force case that involved the death of a 15-year-old autistic boy. Reporting live in Hesperia, Susan Hirasuna, Fox 11 News.